my plant has a butt. Can we address the elephant in the room? I have a perfectly reasonable explanation for why. It's nothing crazy. Yes, I am business on top, party on the bottom. Oh yeah, it's a party on the bottom. Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and today on Tiny Tidy Tuesday, it's a doozy. Oh my word, why did I come up with like the hardest to say catchphrase? Tiny Tidy Tuesday. There, I'm sticking by that. Um, today, we are doing a quick, well no, it's not a quick whip up. We're doing sort of a deep dust of one section of my master and I will show it to you. You'll see, I tend to be a, um, I tend to be a feather duster. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I turned into a grandma. Well, I, I became a grandma. I am a grandma. And I decided to quit being embarrassed that I'm a feather duster. What's wrong with a feather duster? Like, it gets you by. It gets you by. So I've been getting by. I've been dusting it. Um, but it is time for an actual full dust. My frames are, um, as you can see, they're like mirror or a really shiny chrome. This is the only room in my house that is a little monochromatic. It's grays and whites and blues and black. It's like my husband's color scheme. It truly is my husband's color scheme. I'm not a very cool tone gal and I like all the color but um yeah one year for our anniversary we redid the bedroom and I do love it I picked most of it he came with me and we just went like let's make a room that we're both really comfortable in after years of him thinking my master bedroom was fine like he, he never really complained it was like let's make a room of rest that we're both really comfortable in so this is a very cool tone room but that means lots of chrome and mirrors and black and could there be worse things for dust catchers I don't think so so today we're gonna deep dust my sort of photo gallery and I'll give you a little quick tour of that and then over here we have a curio with some special um, framed photos of me and my daughter's wedding. So we're going to take all that down, give it a real dust and a real wipe down. And in fact, the mirrors on that chest of drawers, they actually need hot rag, hot rag, dry rag. Like there is not a glass cleaner, including vinegar and water. Don't even try. It's some sort of really cheap, inexpensive mirror. We got this bedroom set for our wedding. It was a gift. We've been married 28 years, so it, it was really inexpensive and now it's really old mirrored glass. So everything makes it streaky unless you just get a really scalding hot rag and then dry it down, buff it down with another rag. So um, I have a few over here. I'll probably do these too, but we're mostly focusing on all of the, the, mirrored, the mirrored areas. I, I will probably just be feather dusting down the black and um, the black wood might get like a real, a real wipe down with um, like almond oil or something next week. But let's do it. Let's do a tiny tidy with a big impact. Oh, also, as per usual, Tiny Tidy Tuesday is an open playlist collaboration. We have all the usual suspects that we usually do and we have a few new faces. We have actually a lot of new faces today. We got some new girls joining from um, Denise Jordan's interview. We have some new girls participating from the other declutter challenge and a couple of friendly faces that have had like a little hiatus in their back. So we got all kinds of new tiny tidiers coming up in the next few weeks. So we should be really looking forward to even a more expanded, more versatile, I was going to say versatile, um, more nuanced. Come on, give me the word. What's the word I'm looking for? More diverse playlist. I love that there's something for everyone, no matter what level of your decluttering or tidying journey you are on. There is something for you in our Tiny Tidy Tuesday playlist. It will be linked down below. Go to the playlist and watch all of the Tiny Tidiers do their Tiny Tidy this Tuesday. You inspire us so that we can inspire you every week. And please leave in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram and show us what we inspired you to Tiny Tidy.
first of all, can we take a moment for my brand new, beautiful ginseng ficus? It's actually technically even a bonsai, simply because of the way that they have carefully crafted the beautiful silhouette. Okay, this is my ginseng ficus bonsai tree and I'm in love with her and her name is Agnes and don't ask it was my mother's favorite song when I was little so yeah my plants all have like special names but that is so that I care for them so meet Agnes and I shall be caring for her does Agnes not have the best booty <laughs> come on my plant has a butt <laughs> I should take that out but I can't I just love or from this direction she's got one arm behind her back and that's her big, beautiful, thick thighs. And she's just like, how you doing? I don't know. I like the plant butt. It's too hilarious. Okay, we're moving on. Sorry, you didn't sign up for plant butt. Okay, this is, I'll do a little walk through. I, I love photos. I love all of the, I didn't have a family growing up. Have we discussed it? If you've been here for a while, you know I was adopted by my grandmother. And between all of the things that went on, I ended up with a grandma and an aunt, and that was like my whole family. So, um, so I don't have, I never had the nuclear family ever, not for a day. And not that that's super important. I had a lot of love in my family. I was well cared for. I, I wouldn't go back and change it and be a different person, but it did mean a lot to me that my children got to have that. And so I really tried to capture it and, and then I want them out to enjoy. So we have lots of photo displays, but this is the one in my bedroom, and sometimes when I'm not feeling well, which happens sometimes with my health situation, I love that I can lay in bed and I can still see a splattering of my family photos. So this is my oldest, Madeline. That is my handsome son-in-law, Brayden, and that is Rosie and Samuel. Another little cute candidate of Rosie and Samuel back there. Here is the four of us when they were little in a teacup because we're Disney geekoids. This is me and two, my two girls when they were little on Mother's Day at church one day. My husband loves to collect me some tiny sand dollars and he is the sand dollar king. My youngest, Kiki, Claire Bear, she made me that beautiful jewelry tray and it's my year we got married and so that's where I put my wedding rings in the evening. This is a silver tray bought by my sister aunt, filled with my grandma Margie's shells. And then on top, I have specials from our life. So this is actually an acorn. He fell out of his shell that I found out on a day with Rosie Faye. This is sand from Portugal, which is where my grandma, that's my family heritage. So this is sand from one is, that is from the Azores, which are the islands in Portugal we're from. This is from the mainland. And a rose quartz that used to be by my grandmother's bed, a bracelet my hubby bought me on our first trip to Hawaii years and years ago. All the things, all the things, all the special things. This is from a walk with Madeline during a specific time in our life. I've got one of Kiki's rocks. Kiki was my rock collector. Here are Maddie Rose and Claire Grace when they were little. My favorite picture of them when they were little. That is three-year-old Madeline and one-year-old Claire. I actually have one photo that I like more that is actually a candid. This is, it's not technically a candid, but it was just shot by my sister-in-law. So they're very real smiles. Me and my baby girls at Claire's wedding. Daddy walking his girls down the aisle. Oh my word, I just love those. Oh, and their dresses. I know that like shouldn't be that important, but oh my word, my girls dresses. Madeline's dress was like the perfect pick for her and Claire's dress was the perfect pick for her and that was a strapless gown and we had the top made. Claire created what she wanted for the top of her dress and we had an amazing seamstress do that for us. Hubby and his girls at a Red Sox game which was like such a big part of their life growing up. Red Sox games with daddy and one of my favorite pictures of Claire with her husband Brad. I just like I mean, if you don't want your daughter to look at her man like that, that was like, that is goals. Um, a picture of me and hubby on a trip. One of my daughters grabbed my camera and just snapped that pic. So I love his just genuine smile. He usually is embarrassed to smile with his teeth, but it's my favorite picture of Chris and his babies took it. And that is us. I believe he is 17 and I am 16 there. Can you believe that? Look at what babies we are. That's like 30 something years ago. And then this cabinet, I cleaned out the inside. This is going to be hard with all the reflectiveness. Oh, let's open it. Okay. 
Well, duh. Um, that is me and Claire Bear at her wedding. Each of these jewelry boxes, one says Claire, one says Madeline, it has all their baby jewelry. That is me with my grandmother at my wedding. Obviously the photos aren't as good. They're a little dark because I mean, those are 28 years old. That is the bride and groom off of my cake. These are Japanese floats that my grandmother found on the beach in like 1960. And there are more, my sister aunt has the other ones, but these are genuinely hand blown glass Japanese fishing floats. This my girls picked up on the beach and this is from our first trip to Hawaii. Little postcard from a beach vacation with my girls and that is me putting on Madeline's veil. And then I picked this up. My girls were getting married like almost at the same time just to remind myself and everybody that every ending is a new beginning and just to enjoy the ride. And then hubby and I brought this home from a vacation, our last vacation to the beach. So that is my stance. Oh, there's more. I'll show you more. What ifs? I mean, if we're going to do it, right? So this is the photo I was talking about that is my very favorite photo that is an actual candidate of my girls. It is not their first trip to Disney, but it is Claire is three there and Madeline is five. And they were like old enough. I mean, Madeline had been, but they, they'd already been several times. I think this was Claire's third trip and Madeline's fifth trip. And they were old enough that this is day one when we walked in. This is what they did in front of the castle. Like Claire yelled, Dinny wah! And they like ran up and hugged each other in front of the castle. Like Claire was just turned three and old enough to recognize like, oh, we're back in Disneyland. Oh, priceless. Like that one will always be out. Kiki and her hubby swinging in a tire swing. And this is me and my hubby and his dad in like the reception line for my wedding. And that is Grandma Madeline back here. My daughter is named after Grandma Madeline. And oddly, that is Brayden, my son-in-law's grandmother. She happened to be an older woman at church that helped out at the weddings and, and like the job she chose, which is so sweet, was to bustle the bride's gown after the wedding so that they could do their first dance. And also she's a beautiful seamstress and she used to work on wedding dresses for people. But how she asked me if I'd like her to do that. And I was like, that is the kindest thing. And I could have said like, sure. And I'll have my baby marry your grandkid when they get older. How's that deal sound? You bustle my dress and I will have a baby for your grandson to marry. I mean... Sometimes the craziest things. Love those prints. Fun fact, I'm actually gonna try to recreate those myself. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about trying to paint something very similar to those. And then I guess we'll continue the plant tour. Like here is my, my little plant tour of my windowsill. And hubby has our kiss at the altar on his nightstand. And up here we have hubby and I just visiting, like love a candid shot. We literally are just visiting in between photos here. And I just think his face is so adorable. Look, his jaw. He has such a nice, big, beautiful beard now. But look at his young 19 year old jaw. So cute. And I have dark hair. Look, I have dark hair. Who knew? And then that is us running out to go get in the car to leave. This is right before the rice hit us. And then here we have my snake plant. It's my smaller snake plant. I've got a larger one in the kitchen. Okay, if you stayed through all of my crazy photo anecdotes, then you are a real OG. I know you're still here, Ginger. I know you're still here, Christine. I know Lisa is still here and Jaxie and I could, the list goes on of you girls that are so loyal every week. And um, yeah, you know, I'm actually going to mention it today. I'm considering, I would really like to, for all of you that play along at home and put in the comments the things that you have tiny tidied, I'd like to start featuring them or or sharing them. A lot of you at me, I know it's called tag, but I'm an old lady, at me on Instagram and then I get to see your pictures and some of you have DM'd me photos of your tiny tidies privately on Instagram. So if you're not cool with it being public, of course, do not submit it. But if any of you want to just click a photo of your before and after or even just your after, of any of our week's tiny tidies, DM me on Instagram or just put it in your Instagram stories and tag me. Or my email is in the description box. You can always email it to me and I would love to feature somebody each tiny tidy Tuesday and just show what they tiny tidied along with us.
So looking forward to it. I think that's going to be really fun. I do have the photo, photo, right? All my photo mayhem, but I do have a photo organization series starting soon. I'm kind of putting the finishing touches on the plan because um, it took some finagling to figure out how to shoot that, like technically what format that should be in, but that should be coming soon. We've still got the pick a number declutter challenge on Melinda Plain and Simple's channel while well, we're all doing it. She is the hostess with the mostess. I think that's what we got going. So yeah, thanks for being here on Tiny Tidy Tuesday. We will see you next Tuesday. And in the meantime, we will see you for pick a number declutter checkups. Thanks again.